What is up my peepholes? This is your guy, Cly, and today's video is actually a little difficult to classify because it doesn't really fall into any of the categories I've been doing recently. I'm currently prepping a DIY project for next week. So as you can see, it is chainmail based, but I'm actually uh, snipping those chainmail links instead of saw cutting because they're galvanized steel. I'll tell you more about why I'm using that later. And by later, I mean in that video. And my arm is killing me right now, so I thought I would take a break and well, indulge myself a little bit with a topic that I have seen popping up in the Dollar Tree video community. Because of course there is a Dollar Tree video community, not the largest, but I found it interesting, especially since it's a topic that I can actually speak about. But first, one thing, let me just bring the camera back over here now that we've got the gratuitous cat shot out of the way. Update on the Hydro Dipped Coffee Mug. It is dishwasher safe, top rack is all I tested it at so far, but with the caveat that you need to apply the protective top coat first. I had a little bit of leftover on the bottom that I just left to test for this and as you can see it chipped and a bit of the pigmentation actually got washed out. So if you're going to put this in the dishwasher make sure it has a clear coat on first. So what's today's video actually about as opposed to cute cats and updates and that's storage. Specifically Dollar Tree storage solutions. I've been seeing people talk about a lot of large-scale solutions like cleaning products and things of that nature, but I've got something a bit smaller. I've got this little guy. And yeah, I know he's not impressive. In fact, for the longest time, I didn't want to buy this actually. It was only one dollar, of course, but I've been spoiled by two to three dollar toolboxes and they come with features like top bin storage or a separator inside and this has none of that. Of course it's two dollars cheaper so give and take. Anyway, I've done a little bit of customizing inside, sort of. Let me just show you. So inside here I have taken some little plastic bins, these little guys. I love these little guys. In here I have a lot of RPG dice because if you couldn't tell by my current backdrop I am a massive gaming nerd. Oh and uh, that gaming straight ahead sign is also from Dollar Tree. FYI. You'll find it in the picture frame section. So yes I am a massive gaming nerd. Let me just bring it back down. And I found that these little containers are actually the perfect size. Actually, I'm going to grab this one. This is my favorite set. Perfect size to store an entire seven piece dice set. And I know some of you are thinking, why not use a dice bag? Why not pour all of my dice straight in here because it'll store more. And that's because I like just being able to grab and go with my dice instead of having to dump everything out and dig around and try to find the specific set that I want to use because I might have a bit of an inclination when a dice set starts misbehaving on me, kind of like this one right here, I put it back and grab another. So yes, I can just grab and go. Plus, it allows me to have them at the ready in case one of my party mates leaves their dice at home. I know some of the hardcore gamers out there are wondering why I let people borrow my dice, and that's because I have dice specifically for such an occasion. I seldom if ever use these, so they're great to just pass out to people. And because the bin actually comes out of here, I have a way of keeping track of whether or not I have all of my dice. Double win. And a cat blocking my light. Now this storage solution isn't just for gamers, or at least not just for RPG gamers, because as you saw earlier, the bins are great for storing your wooden counters and Meeples! All kinds of board gaming bits can fit in these things, as well as crafting supplies. I happen to love using these in some of my ch mini chainmail videos. You'll actually see these pop up. 
where I store my micro chainmail links. One last thing about this. If you don't want to use these little guys, you can just pop them out. Bins like this do work if you're using them in the top section. They're a little bit too long in the bottom section, but I use it to store paracord if you couldn't see through there. So yeah, that's my small attribution to the Dollar Tree storage videos. Oh, actually before I sign off, these little bins I originally bought at 10 for a dollar, but the price has changed. However, unlike it usually does, it's actually changed for the better. You now get 12 for a dollar as opposed to 10 for a dollar, so if you're a board gamer and you're tired of using plastic baggies that will bust on you really quickly, especially with some of the sharper bits, go for these. If you are a crafter who has their beads fly out of everything, go for these. Just so useful. But that's really all I had to say for this video. Keep an eye out for a chainmail weaving tutorial. I'm going to be making a, well, chainmail dice bag. So if that interests you, or if you just want to learn the basics of chainmail, keep an eye out for my next video. That's really all I have to say on this topic. So until next time, this is your guy, Cly, signing off.